Welcome back to the King's Corner, the place for all things Bethesda. I am the King Fan Man, and today we're going to get caught up with all we know so far about Starfield. That means we're going to cover a lot, so stick around to the very end because we're going to talk about where the idea for Starfield came from, when we might get Starfield, what the story might be, where it might be located, and much, much more. Now, before we begin, let me say how great it is to be talking about Starfield as a real announced game. As many of my subscribers know, I did several Starfield videos back before E3. In fact, I went back and looked, and I did multiple videos after Fallout 76 was announced, and most everyone else had stopped talking about Starfield. And I took some pretty bad heat, and I even lost some subs for maintaining that Bethesda Game Studios was still going to reveal Starfield at E3. I even did a video the day of E3. I was so confident. But you know what? I was so excited when they showed that trailer. So it is so good to be talking about Starfield with you guys again. Now the trailer was awesome, even though it was short. But it did tell us a lot about the game, even though it was a little bitty. So I want us to get all up to date and tell you everything we know so far about Starfield. So number one, if we're really going to get caught up about Starfield, we really need to know where the idea came from. We need to go all the way back to the beginning. And that's not the copyright in 2013. Todd Howard and Bethesda Game Studios has been trying to make an epic sci-fi game for years. In fact, they have tried twice. Once in the late 90s with a game called The Tenth Planet. But sadly, this game was canceled before it was ever finished. Then, they shortly held the license for Star Trek and were in production of a game which most think was a Deep Space Nine game, but that too was canceled so that they could work on Skyrim. Then, shortly after Skyrim's release, Starfield went into pre-production. So in a way, Starfield or a form of this epic sci-fi game has been in the works at Bethesda Game Studios since the late 90s. This is a game that Todd Howard has always wanted to make. And with him having such a passion, and this game being worked on for such a long time, I think we can expect something very, very special when we finally get our hands on Starfield. So that brings us to the next question. When might that be? When might Starfield see store shelves? Now, I have already gone on record saying that I believe we may get it as early as next year in 2019. And I still believe that. Now, I do think there are many factors to consider. But my best guess is fall 2019 or 2020. And that is super exciting because I don't want to have to wait long. I'm ready for it now, as I'm sure you are as well. Let's talk for just a minute about what might delay it until 2020. Todd Howard called it a next generation game. Now there has been some discussion as to what he meant by that. Did he mean the next generation of consoles? That's what most people thought when they first heard him. But then some have suggested he could have been referring to a new engine when he said the next generation. And quite frankly, I think both are very likely. I do think Starfield will have a new engine, and I also believe that there is a lot of evidence to back this up. Number one, Todd has said the next project after Fallout 76 will have a whole new animation system. Now, I, I do know that a new animation system does not mean a new engine by itself. It certainly does indicate, at the very least, an entire new system is in place for Starfield. Now, more evidence of a new engine, in my opinion, is found in Fallout 76. The graphics are touted to be 16 times greater detail than Fallout 4. That is a huge leap in technology. Now, every new game, Bethesda Game Studios, upgrades their engine. The graphics get a little better each game. But to make a game 16 times greater detail, for those of you who know a little bit about game development, 
you will understand that that kind of leap in graphics only comes when a development team has access to a new advanced system. Let me explain what I'm talking about. We know Fallout 76 still has the old engine, but yet it has that kind of technology advancement. Obviously, they have seen and used some new technology somewhere. So that hints at there is a new engine coming with Starfield. Now, if all Todd Howard was talking about was a new engine when he said next gen, then there is nothing really to wait on except for the internal stuff with Bethesda Game Studios. But what if he meant the next generation of consoles? Then Starfield will probably be the release title for the new Xbox, since Bethesda and Microsoft have such a great relationship. Remember, Fallout 76 was announced at the Microsoft conference at E3 this year. If this is the case, then Starfield's release date will depend more on Microsoft's timetable than on Bethesda Game Studios' timetable. Some say the earliest the new consoles could be out would be 2019. That's the earliest. But a more reasonable guess would be 2020. Now again, those two years are the best possibilities for Starfield, considering all of the scenarios. Some have also even suggested that Starfield could even be a cross-generation title, meaning that it could be on this generation platform and on the next. If that is the case, then again, a 219 release would be very feasible. Again, I'm going to say the 219 or 220, those are the two dates that are the most reasonable to consider. Any later pushes the Elder Scrolls way out of reasonable consideration. So I'm not just hoping for a 219 or 220, I'm really believing that 219 and 220 are the most reasonable dates for Starfield. And again, I'm standing by that I believe this game is all but finished. They have been working on this game, guys, since 2013 and before. It is all but done. That's another thing I've taken a little heat from is saying that this game is all but done. But I'm going to say it again. This game is all but done. We're just waiting on it to be released. Now, they may hold it back and let Fallout 76 have its day for a little bit. They may hold it back and wait to be a released title for the next Xbox. But I'm telling you, Starfield is all but a finished product. We're just waiting for the release date. Now let's get to the fun stuff. And I know some of y'all have been waiting around just for this. What is Starfield going to be about? Of course, the trailer is so short. You've probably seen it now multiple times just in this video. But are there clues that we can see to figure out? With all the videos that are out there, you would think that the trailer would be 30 minutes long. Now, there are a couple of things that you can see right off. And there are several other YouTubers that, are, that have seen it as well. The first thing that you see in the lower left corner of the screen are the letters C-O-N-S-T-E. And it looks like a reflection. Obviously, this was a clue left by Bethesda Game Studios or... Maybe it was them just messing with us again, which we all know they love to do. But I do believe it is a clue. Does this stand for Constellation? Maybe. One reason I love Bethesda Game Studios, this is a studio that loves to interact this way with its fans. They love to leave clues, little teases in everything. So you can bet if it's in the trailer, it was put there with an absolute purpose. So what could this C-O-N S-T-E-B. Is it Constellation or is it the name of the space station or the spacecraft that you see in the trailer? It does look like a reflection in a visor, just like my friend Skullzy noted in his video. Now for the last two things of the video, which is the story and the location, I've got a special surprise for y'all. But there's so much speculation out there and everybody's got an idea, but I've kind of had a breakthrough and I really think I've got something figured out. So I hope y'all stick around to the very end. But again, I wanted to do something really special for you and this really excites me. So uh, without further ado, here's your surprise. All right, I thought I'd call in the big guns to talk about the story of Starfield. Mr. Wolfman, most of y'all know Mr. Wolfman. He's the one that sadly for y'all. He's the co-host of the Kingcast with me. Now, the story of podcast. We've just been watching the 
uh, trailer over and over and over for Starfield. And of course, both of us are super excited about it. It's but, a good trailer, but a thir you only watch a 30 second trailer so many times. It's pretty like, you need more. You oh, need we need more. more. And uh, it's, it's almost like what I said before E3. It's the game that everybody's talking about that nobody knows anything about. <laughs> yeah. Right. So that's about right. That's the best way to say it. Except that in Elder Scrolls. We think we've made a breakthrough. Now, I know everybody on YouTube thinks they've got the story figured out. We don't claim to have the story figured out. But... We did figure out a very cool speculation. We hope. Yes. Uh, watching the trailer, and uh, and this is a speculation that I have not heard. Uh, I've watched a lot. I've had people contact me and say, "Hey, check out this video." And by the way, a lot of them were were very good and informative. Uh, very informative. I just got through watching another one just a minute ago and showed him. You can uh, see they put a lot of research into it. Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, I, I've enjoyed uh, Skullsies, I've enjoyed uh, Camels, Doms. Uh, I, I don't want to leave anybody out. I've enjoyed... Uh, JV, maybe. Uh, yeah, uh, Play It Forwards. Uh, so there's a lot of them out there that are very good, but I've heard nobody say what we're about to say. So let's say something. Let, let me to a Bethesda community. Let me try to give you the condensed version, and then we'll talk about it a little more, bit more. But I wanted to do it this way instead of the normal video way. Uh, but we will have some video in the background. We'll make ourselves small for a little bit. So through the magic of editing, here we go. Down, down, small. Now we'll show the trailer there in the background. Isn't that neat? Look at that. I did that neat. That's a pretty trailer. Okay. Uh, How long did it take you? Uh, I'm good at that. <laughs> okay. Okay. So here is this, some call it a space station, some call it a spacecraft, some call it a cannon. Take it, we're going to pause it right about here. Uh, Put in just a still image. Yes. Uh, some call this a uh, terraforming machine, I've Like heard. a Genesis in Star Trek. Yes. The the best Star Trek that's ever been made. Oh, uh, the Wrath of Khan, yes. And if you say that is not the best Star Trek that's ever been made, then uh, you're wrong. You're wrong. And you can be wrong if you want to. That's all right. Uh, now, what this thing is, I don't believe it is a spacecraft. You don't? No. And I, I don't believe it's... Uh, How dare you? Yes. It's a, I do believe it's kind of a space station. It has the solar type. It's a satellite, if nothing else. It has the solar type panels. You see them moving. Uh, the middle appears to be some type of, uh, I hate to call it a canal, uh, that, that something moves through. Maybe a laser, maybe a terraforming machine, maybe a cannon. Uh, it appears to be doing something with that planet. Mm -hmm. uh, I do believe that planet, now there's been a lot of debate whether that's Mars, uh, it looks like it's a red planet. It looks like there's water on that planet. I can't say nothing. I'm colorblind, so go on. I uh, understand. Uh, but here's the here's the key. Y'all quit arguing about that planet because I don't believe that planet has anything to do with the <gasps> game. Yes, I believe Bethesda. Should, you know, Bethesda likes to tease and then kind of. Uh, what am I trying to say? I don't know. Uh, they kind of like to mess with you sometimes. Mm. As most people do. Yes. Uh, I believe the planet in the trailer doesn't have anything to do with the game. Really? Yeah. Now, what if Elder Scrolls is like that, too? <laughs> because let's go to what happens to this space station, satellite, whatever it is. Input image. Here. Now, I will say, I want to give Camel a little bit of credit. Uh, just a little bit. Just a little bit. Because if you'll look really close, and uh, if he don't mind, I'll use a little bit of footage from one of his videos. Uh, he noticed that there are humanoid-type creatures walking in this satellite. Notice there. Uh, again, through the magic of editing, look. There they are, right there. This uh, is the magic of editing? Yeah, just like that. Uh, there's his humanoid his creature. creature. Now, they don't look like humans. They, they look like something. Uh, but they are walking. They are bipedal. There's your, that's your word for the day. Bipedal. Oh, boy. Yeah. Uh, but now, my bad. That's okay. Uh, 
Now, what everybody is calling light speed, here's where we drift off from everybody else. Yes. I have watched this and it has bothered me since the first time I saw it. Do you see anything wrong with this light speed jump that this... It seems to suck and stuff pull. It does. There is no thrust from this chip, satellite, whatever it is. And do you notice that where it starts, it doesn't start uh, right, cent the centered the on the ship. It doesn't start in, in front. It starts off to the side. Mm -hmm. And I, I'm, I, wanna, I want them to see it two or three times. Watch it two or three times really close. It's off to the right, and it looks like this satellite or this space station gets sucked in. Now, if you pause at just the right place where I happen to, uh -huh. you'll see a crack. Yes, it looks fracture. It looks like it looks like the sky or space is actually split, and that is actually a scientific phenomenon. What is it called? I don't know. I'm sure you're going to tell us. Well, it is. It is. It's a split in space, and and so what a is it? It's a, it's like a wormhole, a split in space. Only difference is this one is white, not black. <laughs> it takes you to where? Another, Somewhere beyond the sea. Yeah, it takes you to another part, uh, another, another, uh, well, I won't say a dimension, but another uh, galaxy. Another universe. universe, yes. So I believe what we are seeing here in this trailer is actually the first part of the game, or how the game opens. It, it reminds me a lot of the uh, crack in time from Doctor, Doctor Who. There you go! Hey, well, maybe we can show one of that and not get a uh, copyright. Uh, if we don't show too much of that. Just a picture. Should yeah, just a picture. That, that'll be good. M but maybe this is part of the cinematic start to the actual game. Maybe you are stationed on this satellite, on this space station, and you are working with this planet. Maybe it is Mars. Maybe it is... What, what planet did you think it might be? I... I I said one of the main planets might be Saturn because the logo looks like Saturn. The logo does look like Saturn, yes, the, the uh, star field. The uh, circle with the star field, that's the wings. Mm -hmm. And maybe you are trying to terraform star field, or you're trying to terraform uh, Mars, and because of what you're doing in space, mm -hmm. you cause this crack in space, and you are sucked into this other universe, or this other star field, and thus the game begins and then this is where you're going to encounter all the other races and all the other things and where this, shenanigans ensue yes and this is where the most epic uh whatever todd howard said about the uh the biggest most epic sci-fi thing you've ever seen happens so what do you think about this uh and again nobody else has come up with this i'm glad i paused it at the right spot yeah uh it's making me get more excited for the game personally uh, I've been excited for it, but not as much as most people, probably, because there's not a lot to go on. Mm -hmm. So, what about you? What, what are you thinking? Well, it? I would like to know what they think about our idea. Oh, yes. Uh, do you think there's any credence to this? Uh, quite honestly, of course, maybe it's because it's our idea. I think this is the best idea I've heard. Uh, it, it makes so much sense to me when I saw it. They tell him he's full of it. <laughs> Uh, that that is not a ship going to light speed. Uh, now I know what light speed looks like, and yes, it, it is similar. It is light speed because of the bending light and all that. But uh, it doesn't seem like the ship itself is doing it. No, it the, like again, it's, it's being sucked in. It's not it's not uh, thrusting itself. It it is a wormhole or a as we have said a crack in space. And it must be something that the ship has done, or something. Again, it will be explained in game. So, I or it just happens and they don't explain. It. That's right. Uh, but we, I bet we will find out. Uh, another thing I do want to mention, uh, and I believe it was also Camel again. He was there at E3, talking to one of the people uh, inside uh, Bethesda, and uh, of course uh, he said it off the record. Mm. Uh, but the Bethesda guy said that Starfield is going to be one of the biggest leaps in gaming ever. I want to thank you all as always for stopping by the King's Corner today and how much fun was it to talk about Starfield. I cannot wait to play Starfield, but hey, we got a lot of Fallout 76 to play and to talk about 
first. But, oh, it will be fun to talk about and speculate on Starfield for days, months, and years to come. I want to thank y'all so much for uh, being a part of this channel. If y'all haven't yet, think about, consider stopping by the Patreon page and checking it out. And hey, if you're not a subscriber to this channel, why not? Hey, you've watched this long? Hit that button. If not, you're going to be sucked into another dimension and be shipped off to another Starfield. I am the King Fan Man, and I'll see you next time.